Alright guys, hope you're doing well. So in this video I'm going to show you a new feature on uh, HairAnalysis.Report. It's a feature that's been highly requested and um, basically it's a feature that allows you to see multiple hair analysis charts and hair analysis patterns across a timeline. So essentially you can see a timeline of all of your clients results um, in an easy to view format. So I'll show you how it works. So basically what you want to do is log into hairanalysis.report, um, head to the dashboard and you're going to see a new uh, dashboard item called multiple analysis. So on here the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, search for a client basically. So there's three options. So if you have actually saved your clients on the app, there's going to be a drop down menu here on the list of saved clients. You can click on that and you can search for your client there. If you've not saved clients for whatever reason, you can click on the client's name, type in the client's name, try and obviously type it in exactly and um, use that method. Or you can use the client lab number, um, which really is probably the most, the best one to use if you've not been saving clients, because the client's lab number is the same. However, if you've had a client that's used different labs, they're gonna have different lab numbers so you might want to use the client's name but for this example I'm just going to type in test and uh, view the reports that has uh, that has test on them um, but obviously you'll be typing in you know John Smith, Jane Doe etc etc um, but I would probably try and get into the habit of uh, saving clients on the system um, because then you can use the drop down option um, to view all of your clients so um, there's probably around 50 or 60 uh, reports on this system uh, that I've generated as a test. So what the app's doing is it's gathering all that data and all that information um, from any reports that say test um, and you know present the information on this screen. So what you'll see once it's done is you're going to see some options here at the top which we'll go through soon and what you're going to see is the date of the test, the graph and you're going to see all of the patterns. So the patterns are different to re to reports, it doesn't give you um, a big description uh, because with this system all we want to do is see over time what the different patterns have been for the clients. So the cool thing about this app is what you can do is you can use these buttons here and we can scroll across. So we've basically got a timeline of all of the different patterns that the client's gone through over time. So it's in a horizontal format. So you can easily visually see how things have changed over time on a chronological basis. The other useful thing about this tool is that if you use the intake forms or if you use the symptoms uh, section, the symptoms are also going to show at the bottom too. So you can see over time what things, you know, what symptoms are not showing. So let's say, for example, all of these symptoms were showing on the first test. Um, if you scroll through, you can start to see what symptoms have been healed, essentially, and what symptoms might have, you know, appeared for whatever reason. So another good feature of this um, new new feature is that we've got a few options at the top as well so what you can do is you can click on show inactive patterns so this is going to set essentially show all of the patterns on the report which is useful because one of the things uh, one of the questions that people have is you know when do certain patterns appear so what we've done on this app is we've actually given the calculations for each pattern and this is going to allow practitioners to learn about patterns uh, much better um, by learning you know what actually uh, constitutes whether a pattern's true or false so if you show the inactive patterns the reports you know will get much longer uh, some other things are you can show uh, a vertical so instead of the horizontal way of viewing things you can actually view it in a horizontal manner over time 
like that. And for me personally, especially for advanced practitioners who are well well versed in reading hair tests, what you can do is click on show only graphs in the vertical format and then you can just see the charts and how the charts have changed over time without all of the calculations. This is a good method for advanced practitioners because they can easily see how things have changed over periods of time. Okay. So um, a few other options, you know, you can hide the calculations just to make things even more condensed. And uh, you can even hide the charts. So if you just want to see the patterns over time, so you can see how, how the oxidation's changed September 17th, and you can see how things have changed over time, whether the oxidation rate's changed, etc., etc. So we are looking for feedback on this system. If you think there's anything that we could add, change, you know, how, if you'd like to see it in, in different formats or different ways, then, uh, you know, feel free to, to send us a message. Uh, but check it out. It's a really good feature for you to now easily see all of your clients' uh, charts over a timeline. You know, one thing that this does improve is that, you know, if you are doing things manually and you're saving reports on your computer, for example, uh, it's, it's quite difficult to see um, a timeline view because it means you've got to open up all of the PDFs and view it like that. But with this system, it's a much easier um, approach to viewing clients' patterns um, over a chronological period. So at the moment, each page is going to show six reports um, and if your client's got more than six reports then all you've got to do is scroll down to the bottom and go on to the different pages all right so i hope this feature is going to be helpful in your practice um, thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll speak to you soon